Hi, welcome to another session of Circuits and Networks. In today's two port networks class 14, we'll see about the cascade connections. What is cascade connection? When the output port of network 1 is connected as input to the network 2, then this type of connection is regarded as cascade connection. So it resembles the output port of network 1 becomes the input port of the network 2. So here we assume that the input and output currents are positive and when they enter into the network, so I1 dash will be equal to minus I2. So you can see here both the directions of the current, the output current I2 and the input current I1 dash, they are quite opposite to each other and they are in series. So that's why I1 dash is equal to minus I2. So if at all I frame the transmission line parameters, that is ABC parameters of network 1 and network 2 respectively, what I'm going to get? I'm going to get V1 and I1 in terms of V2 and I2 as transmission line parameters A1, V1, C1, D1. Similarly, when I look at this port 2, so V1 dash and I1 dash will be equivalent to A2, V2, C2, D2 in terms of V2 dash and I2 dash. So let me frame these equations as 1 and 2. And also, we assume here V1 dash is equivalent to V2, that is the output voltage of network 1 is connected as input voltage to network 2. So V1 dash will be equivalent to V2 and also I1 dash is equal to minus I2, the entering currents. Now, when you frame these two values, that is V1 dash is V2 and I1 dash is equal to minus I2 in equation 2, we are going to get V2 I2 in terms of V2 dash I2 dash. Let me frame this equation as 3. I hope you understood how you have framed equation 1, 2 and 3. Now, let us combine equation 1 and 3. We have V1 is I1 in terms of V2, I2 like this. So, I replace V2, I2 from equation 3. Whose values is nothing but A2, V2, C2, D2, V2 dash minus I2 dash. And let me relocate a1, B1, C1, D1, A2, B2, C2, D2 as ABCD parameters of the cascade connection. So that ABCD is equal to A1, B1, C1, D1 multiplied with A2, B2, C2, D2. So this type of connections, equations under transmission lines are framed as cascade connection transmission lines. Thus, the resultant transmission matrix of the cascade connection is the product of the individual transition matrices. Let us go with an example. Here in figure 1, you can see we have input and output connections given to the this particular network. So, two identical sections of network shown in figure 1 are connected in cascade. So, you have to take this connection here to repeat it. And we need to find out the ABCD parameters for overall the network which is shown in figure 1. So, how do we do that? First, Determine the transmission line parameters. The transmission line parameters are given by V1 and I1 in terms of V2, I2 like this. Then what we do? We are going to go with the normal approach what we have employed for transmission lines in our previous classes. So when the output port is open circuited, that is we are making I2 equal to 0, we will be having V1 is equal to AV2, I1 is equal to CV2 and you can see the figure 1 changes to figure 1A like this. So I can get V1 in terms of I1, V2 also in terms of I1. How we are going to get? We'll see. So let us calculate the R equivalent looking at the figure 1A from this side. So you can see 1 and 2 are in series. They are connected in parallel to 2 and the combination is connected in series with 1. So 1 plus you have this parallel combination. So 3 parallel to 2 whose value will be equivalent to 1 plus 6 by 5, nothing but 11 by 5 ohms of this particular figure 1A and therefore I can write V1 is equal to 11 by 5 I1 and I1 dash, I1 dash is nothing but the current which is flowing in this particular branch that is 1 in series with 2 whose value is nothing but I1 opposite resistance is 2 divided by the sum of the parallel resistance that is 2 plus 1 plus 2 that is 5. Therefore V2 will be obtained in terms of I1 dash and I1 dash in terms of I1, you can replace the value of V2 in terms of I1 like this. 
So therefore, A will be equivalent to that is the value of A that is the uh, gain V1 by V2 at I2 is equal to 0. Reverse voltage gain is obtained as 11 by 4. I hope you understood how you obtain the value of A. Now, let me treat this equation as 1. Similarly, C is equal to I1 by V2 at output port open circuited whose value is nothing but 5 by 4. And let me treat this equation as 2. So, we are done with equation of 1 and 2 in terms of A and C. Now, when the output port is short circuited, that is, we are making output voltage is equal to 0. When the output port is made equal to 0, V2 will be equal to 0. And from the standard equations of V1, I1 in terms of V2, I2 changes to V1 is equal to minus V I2, I1 is equal to minus DI2. Let us calculate the R equivalent from looking at this input port sign. So, 1 and 2 are in parallel and that is in combination with 1 ohm in series. So, parallel of 1 and 2 in series with 1 will give you the value as 5 by 3 ohms. Therefore, V1 is equal to 5 by 3 I1. And from current division rule, I can obtain the value of I2 in terms of I1 as minus I1. For this branch, the opposite is 2 and the sum of this parallel value is 1 plus 2, that is 3. And I am substituting the value of I1. I1 is nothing but 3V1 by 5. So this minor remains as it is. So I2 will be equal to 2 by 5V1. Therefore, B, which is equal to minus V1 by I2 at V2 is equal to 0, value is nothing but 5 by 2 ohms. Since this is voltage by current, that is why it is taken as unit as ohm. Similarly, D is equal to minus I1 by I2 at V2 is equal to 0, whose value is nothing but 3 by 2. It should not be in ohms, sorry. It should be uh, unitless because it's a gain component. So you should not write here ohms. It's a small mistake. Please forgive me for that. So overall, the transmission line parameters will be obtained as ABCD, whose value is nothing but 11 by 4, 5 by 2, 5 by 4, and 3 by 2. Now, what is our actual requirement. Our actual requirement is the cascade connection of the given circuit. So, cascade connection of the given circuit. So, we have A, B, C, D S and the circuit is repeated. So, the transmission line parameters for overall cascade networks can be obtained with this formula A, B, C, D. Already we have obtained the values. There is nothing but 11 by 4, 5 by 2, 5 by 4 and 3 by 2. Since the same circuit is connected as an input to the another network. So, I am replacing again A2, B2, C2, D2 value is equal to A1, B1, C1, D1. So, the same values I am placing over here. So, when you are going to take the matrix multiplication, you are going to lead with 171 by 16, 85 by 8, 85 by 16, 43 by 8. Those values are nothing but 10.68, 10.62, 5.31 and 5.37. So, this is the cascade connection output of the transmission line parameters for the given network. I hope you understood this basic concept of cascade connection. So please share among your friends, subscribe to this channel and please press by the like and the notifications. Thank you.